So what does it mean when we say that golden wing warblers are an early successional habitat specialist? Uh, we, we hear that word a lot sometimes and don't really know what, uh, what picture to put with that. Um, but this is a really good example behind me of, of golden wing warbler habitat, this kind of early successional shrub or scrub um, habitat that, that really supports a lot of species, not just golden wings. You might hear in the background gray cat birds, towhees, field sparrows, that kind of stuff. Loves this kind of habitat as well. Um, the main component is this nice kind of forb or what we consider weed species and grass mixture uh, on the bottom. And then shrubs like this really pretty flame azalea behind me. Uh, you also see hawthorns in the background here. Um, and then usually some sporadic kind of canopy producing species, a tree species like I think here we've got the wild cherry, buckeye and uh, red maple mostly. Um, that structure, that complicated structure, is really what golden wings are after. They place their nest down in the forbs, uh, usually near blackberry briars, but not in the briars so much. Um, they do a lot of their foraging up in the shrub layer. It's one of the reasons they're a hard bird to find sometimes. They get really dense inside these hawthorns and, and small shrubby species. It makes them really tough to see. Most of the other species that they're here with, uh, you'll notice, but golden wings, you hardly ever see them unless you hear them singing first. Um, this, this habitat, though, is uh, uh, fairly uncommon uh, in western North Carolina. Um, and as you can see, it's a very, like, a very complicated structure, and that's really what they're looking for, is this complicated vertical structure. It allows them to find the foods they're looking for, um, and also uh, to place their nest where it's, it's kind of the most safe, down in these, uh, these really dense forb tangles. So one of the challenges with this early successional habitat is that it typically, in most places, doesn't want to stay this way. <laughs> you know, succession happens, and that's why it's called early successional habitat. A lot of times, uh, in the mountains especially, this kind of habitat behind me is going to naturally try to go into mature forest. It may take years, depending on the elevation and the wind and how wet the soils are and that kind of stuff, but it's kind of on a continual, gradual climb toward forest. So if you want to keep these early successional species, you really have to manage for them. Um, there are several different ways to, to kind of obtain this kind of habitat and to, and to manage it, some of which are appropriate at, at certain scales and, and others that are appropriate at, at other scales. So for instance, here on, say we're on private land, uh, you might want something that's kind of minimal, minimally invasive, um, something like uh, periodic slashing of some of the taller tree species. Uh, maybe bush hogging through the forbs a little bit to keep, uh, to keep the shrub species out of those areas. Uh, on larger tracts, on public land, national forest or, or big conservancy lands, things like that, you might be able to use fire. Um, the Forest Service uh, uses herbicide to knock back some of this stuff sometimes to keep it at the right successional stage. But it does require maintenance and management. Uh, that's something that oftentimes, uh, you know, with uh, conservation, we um, we'll draw a circle around something and protect it and conserve it, but often that doesn't mean that it's going to stay at the right, uh, the right stage for the birds we're interested in protecting. So Audubon, North Carolina has been involved with golden wing warbler research and conservation now for almost a decade. I actually got started with Audubon, North Carolina doing golden wing warbler surveys for the Cornell Lab of Ornithology. Uh, the golden wing warbler atlas project was my first, uh, first job with Audubon, North Carolina. Um, we've been fortunate that we've received funding from several sources uh, over the last two or three years. Um, the National Wildlife Foundation, uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and Cornell Lab of Ornithology to continue this research. As you can imagine, working in this kind of habitat, finding nests, following birds, that kind of stuff can be a challenge. And uh, um, so they've graciously provided funding for uh, field assistance and, and time and travel here in the field to, to find out all this stuff about golden wings. Tree swallow just went across the frame there. Um, <laughs> But um, we are fortunate uh, that we do have golden wings still in North Carolina and that Audubon North Carolina has been uh, engaged with the Golden Wing Warbler Working Group, uh, a big international coalition of, of agencies and, and partners trying to figure out what to do for golden wings.